Drop it. Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to show and discuss to you my diorama which is all about sea invertebrates. What is a diorama? A diorama is a model representing a scene with three-dimensional figures, either in miniature or as large scale as museum exhibit. Invertebrates are any animals that lacks a vertebra column or backbone in contrast to the cartilaginous or bony vertebrates. More than 90% of all living animal species are invertebrates. Worldwide in distribution, they include animals as diverse as sea stars, sea urchins, earthworms, sponges, jellyfish, and many others. Invertebrates are especially important as agricultural pests parasites or agents for the transmission of parasitic infections to humans and other invertebrates. Invertebrates serve as food for humans and are key elements in food chains that support birds, fish, and many other vertebrate species. Now, we will focus on the marine invertebrates. So, there are six phyla or group of invertebrates that are commonly found in the oceans and these are First, the porifera or the sponges. Second, are the nidaria or the corals, jellyfish and sea anemones. Third, the anelida or the segmented worms. Fourth, mollusca or mollusk or the snails, clams and mussels. Fifth is the arthropoda or the crabs, shrimp, barnacles or copods. And sixth is the echinodermata or the sea stars. Phylum Perifera The sponges are the least complex multicellular animals. They generally live attached to the surface and they have three basic shapes. The encrusting, vase-like, and branching. Sponges live in intertidal zones as well as in deep ocean. They can be few inches to 10 feet in diameter. There are nearly 10,000 species of sponges and all but two families are only found in ocean environments. Phylum Nidaria The phylum Nidaria includes jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. The word Nidaria comes from the root word nid, which means nettle. It refers to the special stinging cells that the animals in this group have for protection and predation. These cells contain coiled threads that are fired at predators and prey. The threads may contain substances that paralyze or sticky substances that entangle their target. Phylum Anelida The phylum Anelida includes worms that are segmented, meaning that the body is made up of sections. Each body section may have a specialized purpose such as reproduction, locomotion, or sensing the environment. These segments are apparent on the outside of the worm's body and make it look ringed. The worm Anelida comes from the word annulus, meaning ringed. The most familiar member of Anelida is the earthworm, which is not a marine species. 
Phylum Mollusca The mollusks are extremely large phylum with over 100,000 species, most of which are marine. Most mollusks have head, foot, and a body that is covered by a shell-like covering called the mantle. The three most common classes of mollusks are the snails, including the clams, oysters, scallops and mussels, and the squid and the octopuses. The gastropods are the largest class of mollusks with over 80,000 species. They include snails, slugs, abalone, and limpets. Most gastropods crawl along the seafloor among grazing on algae, rootless plants that grow in sunlight. Some, however, hunt for their food among plankton, which are organisms that drift through the ocean. Other gastropods filter water for food's particles. The majority of gastropods live in coiled shells, which provides protection from predators and protection from the force of waves. The shells are also used to protect animals that live in the areas between low and high tides from becoming too dry. Phylum Arthropoda Arthropods are the most numerous invertebrate phylum with over 1 million species identified. Some scientists expect that there may be as many as 10 million arthropods on Earth. All arthropods have a strong external skeleton that protects them from predation and supports their body structures. They have a type of muscle called the striated muscle that allows them to move quickly. They also have legs, antennae, and other appendages that are jointed. Phylum Echinodermata All of the 6,000 members of the phylum Echinodermata are marine. The root word echino means spiny, and the root word derma means skin. The name Echinodermata refers to the bony structures called ossicles found in the skin of these animals. Echinoderms do not have well-developed sensory organs or brains. They all have a water vascular system that is used to circulate nutrients and gases through their bodies. All echinoderms share the same general appearance, which is based on five similar sections that radiate out from a central point. There are five classes of echinoderms. Feather stars, sea stars, brittle stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Brittle stars are fairly uncommon. Sea stars, commonly known as starfish, use their water vascular system to operate suction cups located on the bottoms of their legs. These suction cups are called tube feet and they are used both for predation and for gas exchange. Sea stars eat by gripping both shells of a clam or mussel with its tube and pulling the prey open. Then it inverts its stomach into the shells and digests the victim. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching!